what up guys and welcome back to another one your boy is out here there's three of us today another little snow goose hunt and uh, let me tell you what this field me and Jordan found it yesterday and it was loaded and my terms of loaded it means eh, there's about 6k in here right at 6,000 snow geese that's a lot for my area but like I said it's a three-man hunt today we're standing basically right in the kill hole what we did there's the two gomer piles hello we sat right at 50 to 60 dozen socks. So right about here's the kill hole-ish. And we're gonna be laying right back here where it's heavy. But if you guys have been watching the channel at all, you will know that it is conservation season still. It runs uh, up until April pretty much. But we do have the snows down low e-collar out today as well as the dive bomb socks. Good, good combination, boys. Good combination. Well, we're just sitting up here. Look at this. Coming back for round two here. These darks love it. It's right at shooting light here. Boom. E collar isn't even on yet and they're loving it. The darks love it. So before we get started here and kick this here hunt off, you guys need to know all of the duck snow goose gear, I will link down below. Go check it out, go pick you up something if you want it. But we're back with the old Arkansas mud laying guide himself. Terrible. Don't go. At least the stakes were easy today. Yeah, super easy. The stakes were a lot easier. Yesterday it got up to like 45, 48 degrees. It stayed, I think it stayed above freezing all night. So it loosened it up just a little bit. The soil isn't bad. The dive bombs went in extra easy. So here we go. Ooh, got some more lessers coming to look at us. The darks love it. Usually the snows get here first, but might be a different type of morning. Right now, it's uh, the wind is like, it's probably right at 12 to 15 mile an hour out of the southeast. It's supposed to switch directly east, and we have a bunch of cloud cover. So, we were going to uh, sit in A-frames today, but we got out here and realized that there was, there was no brush. There was no cover out in this field whatsoever. So, we're just winging it and laying in the socks today. Well, here are some of the first white birds to the field. Let's see if they like it here. Well, here we go. We got some we got some snows getting a little lower now finally. Come on. Here we go, boys. Do the four? Yeah. Go? Shooting guys. He did. <laughs> no, he's coming back for more. Give him that. Oh, he did. That boy. Ooh. We smashed him, didn't we? We had three. three of them. We smashed them. I mean, that first, the first bang, they all went. Here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Load her up, boys. Load her up. That was fun. Yeah. That worked. Today I'm using uh, these new snow goose loads from Federal. These things are beasts. They're ounce and a quarter. They're 1450 uh, feet per second. They're not a bad show. I'm telling you, they kick like a mule. They are hammers. Well, first bird's down. I think we downed uh, three or four. There are a ton of birds showing up. Check it out. Man, these darks are just loving it. About a Oh, another group of white guys. Come on. Give us a chance. All they gotta do is get down to 40 yards. We're good. They're stalled up. They're checking us out. That's the difference in Canada's specs and snows. Snows are a vertical working bird. A lot of you guys that watch the videos, this is how I film a lot of the snows. They go over the top of you and they just work back and forth over you left to right like this. The Canada's, they want to get down and they want to check you out lower, but these snows, vertical working suckers, man. I'm telling you, that's why they're difficult. One of the reasons, probably. Oh, we got some birds showing. Some whites on top.
Beautiful. <laughs> he just plops down. He's like, oh, am I done, Dad? No, you're not done, Archer. Here! Rossi. Yep, little Rossi. Same thing again, plops his butt down. He's coming in. Oh yeah, yeah, get him, get him. Single coming right at you. Oh yeah. Bust him, boy, bust him. Darks love it, the whites don't. What's new? There we go. The three low ones. There we go. Oh, they're turning. Come on, boys. Really? They just skeeted us. There's this group right here. Group six. Oh yeah, we're yakking them. Wanna right yak them? Try them, boys! I fell back. Goodness. Well, we got one down. That was worth it. Those ounce and a quarter shells put me on my back, boys. Oh, goodness. Another rust, Daddy. Another group of whites here. They've been looking at us for a while. They're staying above the darks. The darks are kind of cutting them off every time. Blue in front? Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Got nothing but ammo to get rid of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, figured I'd give you guys a little mid-morning update here. Easy, fella. Let's uh, calm down there. Let's turn that bad boy off for a minute. But, how many birds we got on the ground, boys? One, two, five. Five? You've been having fun, though. It's like, dude, you guys need to shoot more. But, five birds on the ground over here. Little Rossies. Rossy. Rossy. big guy with a little bit of yellow on his head so five on the ground since it's a little slow you guys I read the comments a lot of you are like you don't read the comments Bobby you don't read my comment yeah I do and a lot of you have been asking uh, to for me to interview each guy that I'm with and ask what guns and what ammo they're using all right we got Jordan here what do you got pal what are you using today this is my Benelli Super Black Eagle 2 Ooh, She's got the tube on it huh Got the tube on it. How many shells are you holding in there? She's plus seven with a three inch. Ooh, so, plus yeah. seven. What type of ammo are you uh, gunning on today? Using the Federal Snow Speed Shock stuff. Oh, it's nice. It's heavy. And you know me, I'm using the Franke Federal ammo today as well. And look at this lovely piece of work here. It's what happened? No, it's. Oh, it's supposed to. It's camouflage. Oh, it's camouflage rust? Rusty geese, rusty guns. That gun's only like two months old, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. So this is Gerald. You guys have met him a bunch. He, he's a guide in Arkansas. He just got back from laying in the mud, him and Archer. What gun you got there, pal? Uh, Black Eagle 3. It's brand yeah. new. It's brand new. Looks it does. Like it's 10 years old. It does not look brand new. <laughs> she shoots good, though. She shoots good, though. What ammo you got over there? That looks special. These are the ones you gave me. Oh, yesterday. those are the Federals. What are those other ones? Those are Fiat Arkansas. Arkansas Steel Waterfowl. Arkansas Special. Since they're Arkansas, you know, they're special. But you guys have been asking for me to uh, interview the guys and have them show you their guns and what ammo they're using and what chokes are y'all running? Fulls? Extended full. Yeah, what is that? A Powder Master? Mm -hmm. Powder Master, what do you got? Carlson. Carlson Cremator. Yep. I got the Carlson Cremator full. All of us full chokes, tubes, three inch shells, baby. That's all you need. Well, here we go. We're picking her up. 
five birds. Not the best snow goose hunt of the year. Not the worst. The, the uh, first video I put up, what was it, a week ago? That was by far the worst so far. Five birds. At least we didn't get skunked. But, you know me. Gotta have that diet do. You know, you gotta try. Three of us again today. Um, the spread went up pretty darn easy today considering it's been in the 40s and uh, the ground's loosened up just enough for those dive bomb socks to go in. I'll tell you, the dive bomb socks, the stakes, I've showed you guys a million times, they are the spring steel stake and they're very, very thin. I'm telling you, I have not ever used, I'm telling you I've never used a stake, a sock that goes into the ground easier than they do. By far, the best. Well, pulling out of the field here, uh, and let me tell you, it's probably just in time because it is getting mushy. Temperature right now is at 34 degrees. Um, we're coming off a long, long, long cold spell, so these 30 and 40 degree temperatures are going to open up this ground tremendously. This ground is saturated in water, and now it's frozen, so I'm kind of dreading the next seven days. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because it should be good snow goose hunting, but I'm dreading it because this ground is going to thaw out and it's going to be muddy. It's going to be mushy and we're going to have to use the quad and the trailer to get all the decoys in probably all week and all weekend. So, yeah, it's about to get tough. You know, driving in the field like this, yep, yep, like this right here, it's nice. It's really nice. So. Using the quad, it just always adds another 30, 45 minutes worth of work in the morning trying to get sat up. Old Jordan's sending it in the old car. He, that's the old hunting wagon right there. Check this out. So I came to look at this field uh, because pigeons use it. And look at all these darn goals on here. From far away, when you're driving up on it and you see that, you're like, oh yeah, we have a feed of snows, baby. But no, no. Unfortunately, not snow geese. Unfortunately, I don't believe we're going to see any more snow geese come through the area whatsoever. Um, it's over for me. It, it is over here in central Kansas. I think I put up, what, like a couple video, videos ago. I, I explained, you know, central Kansas, we are done. All the birds now are spilling into Nebraska. They're in the southern part of Nebraska, really heavy. And they're actually moving out of northwest Missouri, moving into Iowa right now, and moving into the eastern part of Nebraska. So, so the migration back north is in full effect, and it's over now. I'm still debating on, on going uh, up north a bit, maybe to, to uh, Nebraska this week. So if I do, you guys will be the first to see it and the first to know about it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. That's kind of where you can stay up to date with everything that I'm doing a little bit better than here on YouTube because on YouTube, yeah, I only upload, you know, every other day or, or whatever it is. On Instagram, it's a lot more active. It's kind of a daily thing. So be sure to follow me there. And um, I'm going to continue to scout these pigeons because I am ready to shoot them. I know that this was a short video. I know, I understand, but like a lot of you know i'm trying to do what your boy can do and right now the season the hunting's basically over we have some pigeon here and there um turkey's on its way so we're going to be doing some turkey scouting videos coming up here real soon and then getting in to the turkey hunting action so i hope you guys are sticking with me i hope you guys are enjoying the content i'm trying to keep it coming as much as i can but i will say one thing <clears throat> this weather is beautiful a lot of you know I've done nothing but sit my butt out on the ground or in an A-frame blind all winter long, freezing my tootsies off and just freezing my butt off. So this warm weather, it's welcome. Let me tell you what, it's just like, you know when you, when you have a routine, a routine every single day, you get up and the first thing you do is, is get on your routine, your morning scout. Well, it sucks. I remember last year when this happened. I was kind of lost for a little bit when, when all the geese... See, when all the geese leave and the, and the ducks leave, I'm kind of lost for a little while, not going to lie. But uh, we're going to get into some other fun things here, and we're going to kiss this season goodbye. Sad to see it go.
But thank you all for being here. If you haven't subscribed, you need to do so. Hit that little notification bell down there. It notifies you when your boy uploads. And if you guys haven't, check out DuxWaterfowl.com if you want to pick up one of these snazzy hats or hoodies. And thanks for being here like always, guys. We will see you on the next one. Peace!